hello youtube how we doing today what's going on everybody hello and welcome back to dragon's dogma 2 one i've been excited for years and i'm glad to finally have my hands on it who do we need to say hello to check it out jeremy mcgee my brother from another mother first one in the chat what's up jerry bear how the hell are you man thank you for being here uh, all right, I'm ready to jump right into it, man. Uh, I'm going to load from the last save. And uh, I believe we were out and about in the wild uh, exploring. <clears throat> I did a good bit of gaming over the weekend. I fucking love this game, man. I'm having a blast with this game. The the simple, the the simple aspect of exploration is what makes this game for me. Just getting out and exploring and finding things. Uh, finding things that maybe nobody else has found yet, because it's a pretty new game. I mean, there are, there are already like beginner guides and best early start guides and stuff like that, but I'm certain there's stuff out there that people have not found yet. And I'm certain there are things that I have not found yet. So I'm looking forward to that. And I've just been having a lot of fun just going out, just like uh, here, we'll take a look at the actual map. And uh, <clears throat> you can see I've opened up a good bit of the map uh, just like, here's like the first like town that you start in where like your player home is there. And, uh, I've been a good ways West, a little ways East, a little ways North, just kind of goofing around really just kind of out walking the roads and looking for caves and looking for treasure and stuff like that. Uh, I've also been going around looking for these campsites because the campsites are important. That's kind of like unlocking the Nero checkpoints and unlocking the ambush camps and stuff like that in Days Gone. It just gives you a place to kind of rest and resupply and stuff like that. Uh, it also gives you a place to pass the time from night back to day because, as the title of episode two says, don't get caught out at night <laughs> in this game, man, uh, especially early game, uh, before you get powered up, before you really get like the hang of it or whatever, just, just don't go out at night. Just don't do it. Melissa S. Hello, ma'am. How you doing? Dude, that's correct. Uh, Jerry Bear, I see that. Uh, Jeremy says, I saw a thing that said your pawn will catch you if you fall from height toward them. Uh, yes, actually. Uh, I had one do that the other day. Um, you, it's allegedly a thing where, like, if you... All right, I saw... I, I was reading a tip the other day. Uh, I, I've been real careful not to watch any tips and tricks videos yet. I haven't watched any of like the 16 things you should know type. I haven't watched any of that shit. I don't want to know yet. I want to go out there and find it myself uh, for now, at least, you know, uh, for this first playthrough. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, I did come across someone talking about how you can you can pick people up. You can pick things up. You can pick enemies up. You can pick friendlies up and throw them off of a cliff. So like you take one of your pawns. And you can judge your fall damage. You can judge like how bad of a fall it's going to be by picking up your pawn, throwing them off the fucking cliff. And if they die, well, you know, like how much damage you're going to take. Or if they live, you can then throw yourself off, just fucking jump right off the cliff. And if you land, if you like throw yourself close to them, they'll actually catch you or like break your fall and stuff. Something else I saw that I thought was really cool uh, if you are using a shield, you can use the shield to break your fall. You can actually jump and like pull your shield in close and land on your shield. Uh, and I thought that was fucking awesome. I just happened to catch a clip of somebody doing that and was like, whoa, really? So like that kind of goes back into what I was saying when I first opened with it's the, the aspect of exploration, the way that this game allows you to really explore. There's a, there's a, a high cliff there, but you want to get down real fast? Well, fucking throw yourself off and land on your shield. Uh, throw your helper off and land on them. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, man. Oh, hey, check it out. Den de Denny 07 and Webster Ross. What's going on, y'all? Welcome in. Welcome in. All right. So, uh, what do we want to share? Where are we even at? I mean, yeah, we're way up north up here. This is as far north as I've been so far. And I've just kind of been walking around, like kind of opening up these little campsites and stuff. I want to take this little road east. It looks like it terminates right here. So we may actually have something uh, at the end of the road here, maybe a cave or a camp or something. I don't know. Let's go find out. The Vanguard is yours. 
Lead on. I see wolves. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. We'll go get them. We collect as much as we can carry. That's one thing I like. If one of your pawns, one of your helpers says, hey, I think there's some stuff over there we can loot. You press up on the D-pad, which is go, and they will just take off and go start picking stuff up for you. It's like you don't even have to give them individual commands. If they're like, hey, I think there's stuff over there to pick up, you just tell them to go, and they'll go pick shit up for you. And that kind of goes back into what I was saying about this game. It's like, it's so much better than games like Skyrim because in this game, the, uh, the helpers, the henchmen, they can do so much more than just fucking uh, blocking doorways and carrying your burdens for you. Like, they will actually help you do stuff. They'll go pick up loot for you. They'll even break open boxes and pick up loot out of boxes. They'll find chest and open the chest for you. It's killer. I wonder, can we even go that way? It looks like there is... Oh, don't go... Don't go directly that way. Uh, it looks like there is a little path down there. Yeah, okay. We'll check that out here in a minute. I did see there is a cave here at the end of this path. Ah, let's go. Get in there. I'll bet we can climb up this. Maybe not. So one thing I want to do, I may actually fuck around with playing as a spellcaster myself. The wizard characters, uh, the mages in this game, they have a levitate ability that you can use to explore. Uh, you can actually just like levitate up over ledges and stuff and not really tempted to mess around with that. I've seen my helpers doing it. And uh, I've been thinking about checking it out myself. Because in this game, you can change your vocation. You can change your class. Virtually zero consequences. If you have the gear to equip yourself in that new class, you can change classes whenever you want to pretty much. Well, not whenever you want to, but like there's a mechanic for changing your class that virtually no consequences uh, what do we, okay, I was going to check <clears throat> your lanterns, okay, your lanterns do actually consume fuel, and I wanted to make sure that I still have fuel in my lantern, uh, I've been exploring a lot of caves, so I've been running my lantern a lot, uh, it says the lantern is half full, so I think it will still last for a while. Oh, damn, the chat is popping now, holy shit, hey, everybody's coming in, okay, uh, Barappi, welcome in, welcome in, uh, evening all, how are we doing? Fantastic, man, doing great, Gomer Black Magic is with us, hello and welcome, and also Nylon Girl 92 hello, 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 uh, Melissa got a salad for dinner from Chick-fil-A, just now, good lord, what well, took so long, <laughs> were they that busy, or are they just that fucking slow? <laughs> damn. Starting dinner at 9 p.m. Good Lord. We do dinner pretty early around here. I mean, Claire's got a little one, uh, so we try to have uh, dinner for the little one pretty early so we can get him to bed at a reasonable time. Uh, but yeah, shit, we normally do dinner at like uh, right at 6 p.m. Right around there between... Oh, check it out. The, the slime is eating goblins. Holy shit, I haven't seen that yet. That slime is devouring a goblin down there. Oh, that was wicked. That's almost like seeing the uh, the marauders get pulled into the freaker nest in Days Gone. Was well, kind of sick, man. That's the first time I've seen that happen in this game. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe. Well Dare I say it? We're a bunch of badasses. Will spur us into the next. All right, let's keep going. I this this shit is this shit is amazing in this game, dude. They did such a good job of capturing that feel of exploration. There's another enemy right there. Can I? Can't get up there. Can I? Okay. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. Can I get up here? 
really want to try and get to elevation. No? Alright, never mind. Yeah. Bunch of fucking badasses. So I'm actually not very high level yet. We're, we're actually not a bunch of badasses. Uh, I just happen to have this party kitted out pretty well where our our skills um, like complement each other pretty well. Uh, I've got a fighter for my upfront tank. He kind of draws aggro and is basically a, a meat shield. I don't even have him kitted out to deal damage. He, he is a meat shield. His job is to go out front and draw aggro uh, and take a bunch of hits. So basically his job is pissing people off and getting the shit beat out of him all day. Uh, so that's what he does. And then myself, I'm the primary damage dealer. Uh, I tend to hang back and just deal damage consistently. And then I have two mages with me uh, that have magic that complement each other. Uh, they Basically, they have two different types of healing magic. Uh, so that no matter what, I can, I can remove uh, negative statuses. I can heal low health. Uh, they have a shield spell that they can do. Um... And I think one of my characters also has what's called Celerity, which will uh, increase your movement speed and attack rate and stuff. I believe one of them has Celerity. Ooh, that chat is popping. Hello. Let's see, got the toilet to stop leaking. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember on Claire's stream this morning, you were talking about you had to go fix a leaky toilet. So you got it to stop leaking from the tank, but now it's filling up. I wonder why. <laughs> you still don't know how you messed it up. Oh, wow. I assume you've watched some YouTube videos on it. <laughs> okay, so it looks like this is as far as that path goes that way. So let's head back up here and we'll hang out left up here. Here we go. So nothing off this way. Okay. All right. Ooh, deeper into the cave. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Oh, it's little molds. I see. I didn't even notice that enemy was there, man. That's the thing about this game. They'll surprise you sometimes. It looked like it was small puddles of the uh, slime forming into one big one. Hadn't seen that happen yet. That's the first. This is generally used as a material. A different combination of materials results in different creations. Yeah, I watched the video. Just take it apart, put it back together with new parts. Ideally, in theory, that's how it's supposed to work, yeah. Dead end. Okay, I don't want to go this way yet. This is like even deeper into the cave. So let's try this little side passage over here. Enemy. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. There we go. Another dead end. Ooh, this is an actual loot chest. This should have possibly an item in it. Obi Obscured by Ink is here. Hello and welcome. What's up, man? Let's see. We picked up a soft neck wrap. Let's see what a soft neck wrap is. Nothing interesting. Point or two of resistance here and there. I have been a little bit underwhelmed with some of the loot. Like like accessory items like this, they, they don't do hardly anything. It's like a point or two of resistances. Would like to see some slightly, some more significant bonuses from some of the items We've you pick up. For some time now, haven't we? It is not without cause that we are called nomads. We are under attack! Here! Strike with lightning on your side. You're soaked. Do you try not to catch cold? Hey, get off of me. 
There we go. Give me some fire. That's better. Yeah, they do not like fire. Ah, oh, shit. Now I gotta... I'm heavy again. I gotta go on a diet. <laughs> Sort some shit out to my helpers. Now, why am I carrying a camping kit? What the... Ah, hell, that's where most of my weight was coming from right there. One thing I would like to see in this game is a way to select multiple items. Uh, there's only certain context uh, under which you can select multiple items. I would like to be able to select multiple squares here. Like, sure, I can do, like if I have, hang on, let me, if I have eight apples, well, I can select eight apples to give to my helper, but I can't select multiple squares to give it all to him. I have to go through each one. Uh, I would like to see that uh, change. There's very, there's only very specific context under which you can uh, select multiple squares. It's a little frustrating because uh, because the carry weight limit is pretty fucking low in this game. It's pretty strict carry limits. Um, inventory management becomes like kind of a big fucking deal. It's pretty streamlined. I think the only way they could make it better really would be to add a feature to select multiple squares at one time. There we go. That's most of everything I had that I needed to drop. Most of the rest of this is shit I would carry or use anyway. Let me go ahead and use these. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. All right, cool. Let's rock and roll. An exemplary performance. This way. Once more. I hear combat music. I don't see enemies. They queued up combat music. Oh, there's undead down there, maybe. Is that what that is? Oh, I get it. There, the slime was eating another goblin. Holy shit. I hope you weren't expecting this, What? Okay, so we have a path off this way. That combat music again. Did have. We have a path this way. Oh, multiple paths this direction. Okay, I see. I heard another enemy back there. Another slime. Aha, I learned that trick from days gone. <laughs> I tied him past an explosive barrel. <laughs> Does that move familiar to y'all? All right. Yeah. We got a bunch of exploration in here. Nice. Lots of shit to explore. Goes off this way. I saw that enemy there. There he is. Hi, you. Come here, you prick. Or oh, fell from the beast as it reached its loss. I wonder. Flame. Is the slime not eating those guys? Do they like live in the slime or something? That's weird. Is this like it? I've seen multiples like, oh, hi. She's waiting on a high five. Hello. <laughs> Keep going this way. Ah, looks like we found an exit. And a bunch of dead goblins. Nasty. Oh, wow, where did we come out at? Where the fuck are we? Oh, I see. Okay. It's 
So we came in this cave here and wound up coming out down here, which I hadn't been this way yet. I've been close to this, but I haven't been down this actual path yet. That's cool. I'm not done exploring that cave yet. Mm, let's go down here and activate this stone. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess he found a way to reach it. Or she found a way to reach it. What is this village down here? Watch outpost. Okay. Cool. I'm having so much fun just exploring in this game, dude. You just, man, y'all just don't know. This is like, for me, this is like playing Skyrim again, all over again the first time. Just a massive world to explore with excellent combat. Actually, with combat that's far more dynamic than uh, Skyrim. All right, let's get up here and check out the rest of this cave. Let's go spelunking. No, oh, let's go explore this dead end. Let's go ahead and take the other eastern path here. Is that another slime? Yep, that's another slime. Ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. No loot. It's overly narrow here, and ill-suited to combat. Let us conclude our business and be quit of this place. There is I, uh, to be gained from lingering. I, I kind of like it in here, dude. We're not in a hurry. Captain Caffeine! What's up, Cap? Oh, Nylon Girl, you're working for a bit? All right. Here we are, and that's the end of the cave. Okay, cool. Uh, can I, uh, can I have the stuff, please? Can I have some more stuff? I like stuff. Stuff is my favorite. All right, let's head back out the way we came. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you, Arisen. Not quite. Uh, it's this way. Hey, Bubba. How did you ever choose this place? Thank you. Yeah, man. Bye, Bubba. I love you. Have a good night, bud. Bye, buddy. Okay, let's try the thing that Jeremy was talking about. My helper will follow me down here. Now it looks like they're going the long way around. Fine, I'll go down here by myself. Screw you guys. I was going to throw my helper down here and see if he would catch me. Okay. 
Yoink. Those are handy. It is rather valuable, this. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. We'll grab it. Gran, oh. I want to learn magic, please. Hello. Ooh, you're playing Ghost of Tsushima with the Ronin outfit. Yeah. This that is such child. a good game. You know full well your father has forbidden it. There are plenty of things more deserving of your interest. Why not turn your aspirations elsewhere? Why must you always take father's side? I'd have thought you'd understand how I feel better than anyone. Mm -hmm. What am I to do with that girl? Teach her magic. Would that I could allow her to do as she pleases, but... Tisn't to be. Would you mind coming over here? Why won't they let me study magic? It isn't fair. Okay. Well, I'm just going to help myself to this loot over here. Why are you waving like a crazy person? I did not tell you to take me anywhere. Ironclad staff. I don't know if that's actually any good or not. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a quest here later or something. Man, this just looks like a spot where a little boss fight is supposed to happen. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. I quite agree. Ooh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Legends mode in Ghost of Tsushima is great. Uh, Melissa, if you are a fan of Ghost of Tsushima, next time we do a Ghost of Tsushima uh, multiplayer session, you should totally join us. Oh, look, there's a band of goblins down there. What did I just hear? What is happening here? Why, why are we... Why are we doing combat magic? I mean, I know there's goblins down there, but we're not necessarily trying to go kill the goblins right now. Oh, I guess we could. I've actually wanted to know what happens when we slide down this incline right here. Oh, the fun begins again. <laughs> hey, arisen. We fight. With arms. Very well, if I must. Man, I wish I could get the angle on them. Oh, here we go. Nothing we can do about it now. Come on, actually hit one of the fools, please. You have my protection. This is rather thrilling. I got you, Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, just picked up a big ass rock and chunked it at him. <laughs> Fucking love it. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about, man. See, the helpers in Skyrim don't do stuff like that. Just pick up a big ass rock and you chunk it at an enemy. <laughs> you don't see stuff like that in in games much. That's classic. Mohammed, hello. What's up, man? Welcome in. Welcome in. Oh, I see. Okay, so the the time on those streams doesn't really work out for you. That's more like family time for you guys. That's fair. Yeah, the invita invitation stands. Uh, we will be announcing more dates for our multiplayer sessions. Absolutely, we'll definitely have more of those coming up soon. I love doing that. I, I haven't had that much fun in a long time, man. Okay. 
I don't want to go back up into this cave and out. No, I guess at this point we might as well just go down this way and go check out this border watch outpost. I don't think I've been there. I think it was just like the first mission you end up coming this way. Like early, early game. I haven't been down this path yet. Worlds tells me that a forgotten riftstone lies near here. Shall I lead the way? Yes, please do. I lead the way. If you would be so kind as to follow me. All right, let's go. Is yours. Lead on. So that's one of the things I was talking about. Like this character here just told me that there is a forgotten rift stone nearby, and uh, would you like me to lead you to it? And you tell her, yeah, or you hit go down there, and she'll take you straight to it. We're here, master. Yeah, nice. Now, what these do, the forgotten rift stones. Uh, some of the, like, I haven't quite figured out which ones are which. Like, this is, appears to be just a standard rift stone. Like, it will, uh, just allow me to enter the rift and pick new helpers. But some of them, what they do is they summon one high-level helper, and then they disappear. Baron's tent. Well, who the fuck is Baron? See harpies over that way flying around. Okay. Yeah, we've explored this northern part pretty well so far. I really wanted to take this road here all the way back down to the capital city here. Is this road will take us all the way. That's another thing I'm really enjoying about this game. Even in the areas where you have not unfogged the map, you can still see where the roads are, which to me, that just encourages exploration. It's like, well, I see there's a path there. Let's go see where it goes, you know? All right, so I'd like to... Uh, where are we at again? This way? Okay, we're going to basically just head due west and try to take the road down this way. Actually, shit, can we get to the road from here? I bet we can. I don't know. That's going to be incredibly dangerous. Maybe if I throw one of my helpers down there, they can catch me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like we could go that way. Like, I, I really am. I think I'm going to have to switch to a mage uh, so I can start messing around with the levitate ability. Stickman, 41, 31, what's up, man? Oh, Muhammad, are you playing uh, Ghost of Tsushima as well? Nice. Rock beats Goblin, yeah, right. Rock, paper, Goblin. <laughs> what is it? Oh. I've got a question about my training regime. Oh. Uh, do I? Spice I don't know. Unlikely guess. None took to the training like you did. Open to enlist? Oh, uh, not. A pity. Who the fuck is Baron? To add you to our ranks. You'd seem like you'd be fit for battle, even if I were to call upon you on the morrow. Which is more than I can say for the rest. Apologies for assuming. We've had fewer folks looking to enlist to play, and I'm hungry for recruits. Many keep their distance on account of the instructor being a beastron. A <laughs> very Vermundian of them. At the very least, I'd like to provide some decent training to the soldiers we have now. Easier said than done, especially when the weapons we were promised have yet to arrive. It isn't like to beast their morale having rusted steel to train with. <clears throat> what I wouldn't give for some decent weapons and a soldier to act as an example. Someone with motivation to grow. That'd light a fire under them, I reckon. Mayhap you could aid us. I know tis much to ask of anyone, let alone a stranger, but... What else am I to do? Uh, well, yeah, let's pick up a side quest. We'd welcome what you can spare. All right. Sir Baron's request Your weapons and find a motivated soldier. Claw them into shape. I love the name of this mission. That's that's awesome. Oh, uh, you're currently on the fifth mission. Nice. I love Ghost of Tsushima, man. Uh, you know, before too long, I may actually pick up my uh, Over here, if you please. my new game plus playthrough. 
Where are you trying to take me, ma'am? I did not tell you to lead me anywhere. That's, I'm not going to use the word frustrating. Is this not entirely accurate? I guess confusing would be the best thing. I had no idea where this chick is trying to take me. She might be taking me to this mission. Uh, like where to go to pick up the items for this specific mission. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Might as well give it a shot, right? Sometimes I'll follow these helpers just to see where they're taking me. Because the way this works, if you're not familiar with it, the main palm, myself and my helper here, Tank, we're like the two main characters. Uh, I can customize our skills and stuff. But the other two, this spellcaster and this other spellcaster following me, they're actually made by other players. They exist in the world of other players. So what happens is, as that other player is exploring with their pawns, they will find things about missions. They will find loot in the world. And then when they are exploring with you, you benefit from that knowledge. This person knows right where she's taking me. She knows exactly where the quest items are at. She knows exactly where loot is at because she's already explored these areas with her player character. And that's... That's the kind of multiplayer I can get behind, man, where the other way, people Master. who can influence your world can only influence your world in a positive way, uh, only in a beneficial way by providing you pawns that have knowledge and skills. Arisen, we ought to heal ourselves while we have a chance. We must. Let us finish this quickly. Understood. Here. Oh, that went pretty smoothly. <laughs> Little high five there. Oh, and I figured out how the clock works. Um, <clears throat> folks who were watching some of the earlier episodes, uh, I was a little bit confused by how the clock works, but there is actually a functioning clock in game. If you, oh shit, it's almost night, by the way. If you look at it, like, I didn't understand at first. So this ring around the map, you can see the sunburst on it. Uh, and you can see, like, the stars and stuff on the other side there. So you have this ring here. My mind was thinking clocks move clockwise. Clocks don't move counterclockwise. But in this, when it's daytime the sun will be on the eastern part of the compass rose. It will be coming up in the east, and then it will move across the sky counterclockwise. Straight up is noon, midday, and then as it continues across the sky to the west, that's evening and night, and then like all the way down at the very bottom is midnight, and then it rolls back around to morning on the eastern side of the map. So that's what it is. It's not a clock moving clockwise it is the sun moving across the sky from east to west. And I didn't catch that at first simply because I was like, well, it looks like it's going counterclockwise, but clocks don't move that way, man. Okay, so I want, wait, wait, wait. I want to follow this path in another world, I to uh, Riftstone lies nearby. this campfire up here. Uh, forgotten Riftstone. Uh, yeah, the let's see how far it is. Oh, shit, okay, so she's gonna take me the opposite them. direction from the uh. Me thinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. Well, if you insist, I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. You take it? No, hon, we've already been to that rift stone. No, you follow me. I'm not following you. You follow me. I want to get over here to this campfire so we can rest for the night, make it daytime. I'll show you all how the clock works, more specifically. Ah, campfire. Oh, shit, I know where we're at. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make a save. Sometimes you can be attacked when you're making camp or when you're resting for the night. Uh, no, this is not co-op. Uh, this game doesn't technically have co-op. Uh, it's just that pawns who exist in another player's world 
can join your world and help you. It's not actually the other player joining your game as a multiplayer game. It's just their their henchmen will join the world and help you. All right, let's go ahead and make camp. Yeah, the first Dragon's Dogma was great. <clears throat> I really, really enjoyed it. I've got two full playthroughs on it. Probably got 250, 300 hours in it. Just just a, an estimate. Oh, man, I don't have any good food to cook. All right, no, I'll cancel that. Not going to eat any rotten meat. Rest till morning. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't really consider that co-op. Uh, as co-op, I would consider as that person actively joining your world and helping you. Uh, in this, it's it's more of an automated thing. Like the other player that owns this pawn and this pawn, they have no knowledge of my game going on right now. They have no knowledge of it. In fact, they might actually be playing and using their pawns in their world right this moment. But now if you look at the map, you see the sunburst is over on the eastern part of the compass rose. So it will move counterclockwise, but it's moving east to west across the sky. I was like, obviously, duh. Okay. Now, actually, what would I like to do here? Let's have a look at the map. I did want to... Oh, we went way east. Uh, or west, rather. I want to start going east now. We'll never get anywhere before be... we do is rest. This way. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labor. James Guan is lurking. What's up, James? How you doing, buddy? Thank you for joining us. I know a, a lot of my viewers may not be, like, excited for this game or whatever, but folks, I gotta tell you, I'm excited for it for you. Uh, this is this is one game that I have been looking forward to more than anything else for a long fucking time. I mean, Baldur's Gate 3 was a big deal for me. I was really excited about Baldur's Gate 3. I'd been uh, following uh, news of it for a long time. Uh, I'm a fan of Larian Studios. I love the uh, Divinity Original Sin games. Uh, so I was really excited for Baldur's Gate 3. Of course, I played the old school Bar Baldur's Gate games back in the day. Uh, shit, I still I have those on mobile and have played them fairly recently on mobile, actually. But, uh... Ooh, hello. Uh, I was really looking forward to Baldur's Gate 3, but this one is even bigger for me. Because, uh, man, I just, I lived in the world of this game for, like, a while when I first started playing it. He's <laughs> already dead. <laughs> one hit. <laughs> These poor little goblins. I almost feel sorry for him. Now, let's have a look at the map. Yeah, okay, we can go right through this little border watch outpost and continue heading east. Yeah, yeah, there was... It, you're exactly right, James. There's like a 20-year gap between Baldur's Gate 2, and which came out in like the late 90s, I think early 2000 late 90s uh and then Baldur's Gate 3 was of course just last year so I mean that was quite a gap uh so I've really been looking forward to that for a while but this one I guess because Dragon's Dogma was just what 2012 2013 only about a decade or so uh, oh yeah this was the town we came to first I know where we're at um but yeah anyway uh, like, I personally was excited for this one because I really, I just wanted to play more fucking Dragon's Dogma. Really, honestly, I just wanted to play more Dragon's Dogma. I had I'm two sure playthroughs on the first time. one, and uh, I felt like I had explored that world pretty thoroughly. Uh, so I'm glad this one is set in a new land in a different continent than the first one. I don't know if it's a different continent, but it's different countries for sure. I hear something big too. Did I hear a larger enemy over there? No, maybe not. Oh, 
Oh, those are okay. Those are enemies as well. Those are uh, maybe human bandits or something. Hi, get off of me, boy. No, this is like a guard. Why is this guard attacking me? I have no idea why the guards would be attacking me. I hope we didn't just aggro the local military. <clears throat> Reviving the dead. If a resident of this world dies, it is not necessarily the end. For the Arisen has the power to revive the fallen by using a wake stone in close proximity to them. Bear in mind, however, that the bodies of the dead are not left to the mercies of the elements, but will in short order be taken to a morgue or charnel house in one of the larger cities. Now, that is something that I think is really cool. This is a really, really unique feature in this game. I mean, some other games do have like a resurrect or speak to dead, speak to the dead ability. But in this one, if an NPC, uh, a person who just is part of the world, if one of the NPCs dies, well, they may be important to a quest. Uh, and if they are important to a quest, you can find them at a local morgue and revive them. Uh, where is like, you know, like the way Skyrim and some of the Elder Scrolls games and some of the like Elder Scrolls and Fallout and stuff, the way they handle that, certain NPCs are essential and simply cannot die. In this one, you can straight up kill them, motherfuckers, and then go revive them. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, Cap, you playing some Ghost Recon Breakpoint. All right. Well, cool, man. Have fun. Need to join you guys for a session of that. I haven't done any multiplayer in that. I, I got a character started. I got through the tutorial. Uh, that's about as far as I went. You've been playing Dragon's Dogma now. You guys are going to have to pry me off of this one with a fucking crowbar. Ooh, Path of Exile 2. Yeah. Yeah, that's another one. Uh, What was... um? Yeah, the first... First Path of Exile was good. I really enjoyed that one. Oh, there's an enemy over there. These guys, their weak spot is their tail, but it can be a little tricky to hit it. You have my protection. You <laughs> shot him in the foot. Oh, hear more of them. There's another one right there. Try to change my angle of attack here so I can... Yeah, there we go. See, my helper just cut his tail off. Did massive damage. And what's interesting, the meat in their tail is quite valuable and makes some bad-ass healing restoratives and stuff. Uh, it doesn't... It has, like, a pretty low uh, spawn rate for, like, being able to pick it up as a lootable item. Even if you actually cut their tail off, you can't always loot it. Uh, but, how do you miss a shot like that? But yeah, when they drop their tail as an item you can pick up, man, it is it is an excellent healing item. Makes some bad-ass curatives. Oh, you enjoy it better than the Division 2. Okay. So I had purchased that one also, because uh, I know you guys have been playing that a bit. Uh, and I just wanted to jump in with y'all, but... Uh, you know, like I said, I've mostly just been playing Dragon's Dogma. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. over here. Courage does. It's a 
<laughs> courage is as courage does, huh? I thought it was stupid is as stupid does. Oh, maybe I've been watching, uh, maybe I've seen Forrest Gump too many times. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be and we're still on the correct path, right? Yeah, this is exactly Most the way I wanted to go. Though they travel only during the day. I'm attentive and loyal. No. I prefer to remain by yourself. No, I don't care. In battle, I shall... Well, let's see what she can do. Oh, wow, that's actually a pretty good helper. Bam. What level? She's level 23. No. She's got a good set of skills, but she's too uh too close to my level. That really wouldn't be much of an upgrade at all. Because the two helpers I'm carrying right now are much higher level than I am, which means they're technically capable of uh dealing higher damage than Traveling me. Traveling beyond the rift, I came upon a cave whose secrets you have yet to discover. It is nearby. Shall I lead the way? Yes, please. Follow me then. Let's Unless do it. Doubts my sense of direction. Well, let's go, man. And it's even in the direction we wanted to go anyway. Which way are you trying to take me, dude? Oh, you're just trying to figure out how to get past that cart. Okay. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not let down my girl. I grant you boring flame. Oh shit, and now there's a griffin on us. Hello! No, well, didn't necessarily want to engage in this fight. doing much damage here are we You're so Do you try not to catch uh mr griffin it'd be real cool if you could just kind of fuck off <laughs> No damn. Ah, hello. Shy so far. Time to go. Man, show me that pretty face. There we go. Get him while he's down. Yeah, there's that celerity kicking in. Yeah, now we're doing some fucking damage to it. Yeah, keep that motherfucker down for a minute. Deal some fucking damage. Man, we might actually kill this thing. Holy shit. This will be my first kill on one if we get it. That's right. You stay over there on that side of the... Oh, lovely. Yeah, keep him down for a minute. Fuck yes. 
There you go. Somebody just put celerity on me again. Ah, oh, shit, he's up. All right. Well, still, we managed to deal quite a bit of damage that time. It'd be a lot better if I'd stopped missing. Please don't come over here and fuck with me, dude. That's right. Kill my helpers. Leave me alone. Yeah, his, uh, hit point total is insane. We're getting there, though. Check it out. It's awesome. We may actually be about to get our first kill on a griffin in this playthrough. If he'll stick around, because quite often when their health gets low enough, they'll, they'll bail. They'll just fly off, trying to keep him pinned down. He's only got one phase of his health bar left. We are almost there, guys. Fuck yeah, y'all are about to see me take out my first Griffin in this playthrough. Oh shit, <laughs> I let myself run out of stamina. <laughs> Damn, I was hammering on him, man. You are not hitting me. Almost there, guys. Almost fucking there. Got him. Fuck. Yes. Fuck yes. Oh. Son of a... Dude, I'm sweating. <laughs> like, I'm actually sweating. Oh, holy shit. I gotta crack this window, man. wild oh brings back some witcher 3 memories huh yeah winner winner chicken dinner that's a big old piece of chicken right there buddy that's some big old chicken wings <laughs> this seems a decent spot for a campsite there's no reason to rush into our bedroom hey why why are these people attacking me all of a sudden like the guards are fighting me for no goddamn reason Did you not just see me murder a griffin right in front of you, dude? You should probably just fuck off. Great griffin claw. All right. Holy shit. What time is it? It's only midday. Ah, we killed a griffin before noon, huh? Oh, I don't want to revive that hoe. He just tried to kill me. I really don't know why the guards are attacking me all of a sudden. I guess I should look that up. See what's going on there. We must have dealt like some area of effect damage to him or something. I don't know. Yeah, roasted chicken for dinner. That was awesome. Look, I didn't even take any damage from that. Wild. Oh, and look, there's a Minotaur. Um, okay. Well, let's go murder a Minotaur. Oh, I'll take the Minotaur hunts us. Yeah, this guy has a pretty big health bar too, but dang, my helper's already got him uh, down on the ground. Wicked. Look out, 
Looks like the Minotaur is the one under attack, dear. As you deal damage to him and like shoot him in the face and stuff, you actually remove his horns. You can see he'll have like stumps of horns left here in a minute. Oh shit, I've let myself run out of stamina. Brain. I love the arrows sticking out of his face. Now, this is not my first Minotaur kill. Nice. That's not my first kill on a Minotaur. I've taken out several of them. Uh, so close but it's no less satisfying. We were overconfident in our abilities. Just overconfident in our abilities? Dude, what are you talking about? We literally took no damage. Now, you've taken a little bit of damage, but you're my tank. You're the one that's supposed to take damage. Taking out all the mythical monsters, yeah. Uh, let's see, the level of the pawns, uh, my current level and my my pawns level are 24. We're both even at the same level. But the two pawns that I have hired, one of them is level 26 and one of them is level 29. Uh, and that's why I, I really don't want to replace them yet. They're so much higher level than I am. They're like really powerful helpers. It, it's nice having these helpers with me. And their skills complement each other because they have different sets of healing abilities. Uh, like one of them can remove negative statuses while the other one actually cast healing. One of them can cast a shield spell that will protect you from damage while the other one can cast like a, a haste ability that speeds up your attack rate. So like there's, there's, their abilities complement each other quite nicely. Okay, so we're a little past midday. Where are we at? We're pretty close to where I wanted to be. I would love to find another campfire, but we may not find one anytime soon. Since we just passed one. So <clears throat> I may end up needing to turn around and uh, go back to this campfire, but I kind of doubt it. Lightning Rod 75. What's up, man? <laughs> You're hanging gutters and mowing lawns. Okay. Oh, Muhammad. Like, hey, I played Diablo too, man. I know these terms, okay? <laughs> All right, that's fair. I too am an old school Diablo 2 player, man. I love Diablo 2. I, I would. I could easily say I've got several thousand hours in Diablo 2. Uh, I think there's another harpy. Yeah, right up there on that little ledge there. We'll go deal with them in a second. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. I love shooting the harpies out of the air. That's one of my favorite things about this game. Yeah, I did that thing with Diablo 2 where I played so much Diablo 2 that it's like kind of soothing, almost like a almost like a meditative state when I'm playing Diablo 2. Oh, it puts me to sleep here. now. Like I I tried to play a while back. I what they did like a remastered version of it. God, what was it called? Um 
can't re- Diablo resurrected. I think they called it. Uh, but, um, I tried to play that and it did the same thing. It had the same effect on me. It's just, it puts me in that state of mind where I start getting drowsy. Because I've just played so many hours of it. Okay, there's goblins there, but there's a path here we haven't explored. And more goblins here. Running. Paste your eyes on this. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, oh, shit. Just like that right there. I was about to say it. It's funny. These goblins will come out of the tall grass at you. They will hide in the tall grass and ambush you. That's just such a neat little touch. Because he's literally hidden in the... Well, he was hidden in the glass and uh, in the grass until she hit him with that lightning. <laughs> I shan't let them harm you. I grant you roaring flame. Put that horn up. <laughs> Explosive barrels. Man, there's a bunch of goblins back here, damn. says look master goblins and there's no goblins i am disappointed i wanted to kill some goblins Ooh, all right that was a little bit intense and what is the current time it is getting close to sunset hopefully we will come across another campfire soon yeah the diablo 2 resurrected yeah yeah, they did a good job with it. I was having fun with it. It just, like I say, it puts me in that almost meditative state of mind. It's the the dopamine dumps, I think is what it is. Uh, you know, that, that play loop of killing tons of enemies and collecting lots of loot, killing tons of enemies and collecting lots of loot. Rinse and repeat. I've done it so much, it gets gets me kind of drowsy, man. Yeah, it is getting too close to dark. You've been doused in oil. You must stay clear of fire. Let my magic grow into an elemental boon. Nice. I like having a spellcaster with me that casts celerity. That celerity effect is bad ass. It basically increases your attack rate. Uh, maybe your movement speed, but definitely your attack rate. Shit, it might even increase your stamina regen rate, which is cool. More goblins, damn. The day grows darker with our every step. Here's the trick. It will be difficult to pinpoint hmm. distant foes by sight alone. I will protect you. Yeah, <laughs> he's already killed him. <laughs> oh, 
All right, let's have a quick look at the map. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much what we wanted to do. Just keep heading this path right here. I'm getting awfully far from that campsite. You guys may see me out after dark. Might be necessary. I really don't want to backtrack to the uh, campfire we passed earlier. I would prefer to push ahead and find a new one. A flawless execution. Would that we might always be so in step, eh? Yoink. Now it looked like there might actually be a path down here by this waterfall. Yeah. No, I don't think we can actually get down there safely. And that's what I'm talking about, like the exploration. Oh, there's a campfire right there. Hmm, I see. There is a campfire right there. But I don't see any way to get there safely. Take a moment to savor the scene. I quite agree. Oh, and there's another one right there, but we can't get to it safely. Yeah, we can. Okay, I think I found the path down there to the campfire. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Oh, and we found a chest too. Neat. Oh, shit. Maybe I didn't find a path down there because I don't think we can go this way safely. Maybe the long way around? Come on. Don't fall down the cliff. Our party is well balanced. I can see no weaknesses that might be exploited. No challenge is beyond our combined might. I suppose it's so. Yeah, we did kill a griffin earlier. Goblins. Take that. I grant you lightning spangs. I do love using elevation in this game. Positioning and elevation. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. Uh, perhaps the arisen is recalled. Oh, shit. Wreck not. I'm sure we'll come back to this. Move, 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 move. There we go. I shan't allow any further harm to come. Shit. What am I hearing? Now, the interesting thing about the skeletons, when you kill them, you, can, you destroy them, but then you also have to destroy their head. It's kind of like a zombie. You have to smash their head. We trounced our foe. Well and true. Saurian. And these are just lizard men. They're not that bad. Now that I've gotten leveled up a little bit, I can usually take them out pretty quickly. There we go. And looks like we've just found a campfire right here. Ah, uh, more enemies though. Between me and the campfire. Chris, Julian, hello and welcome. Yeah, the griffin, that was my first griffin uh, kill in this game. Uh, in this playthrough, that's the first time I've managed to kill a griffin so far. Mega Man, the blue lion. What's up, Mega Man? How you doing, bud? Whatever it is you need. Let's see if they can heal me up a bit. No, need of no. okay. Yeah, it's not really necessary. We're about to camp anyway. I believe that's a campfire right there. Me thinks we can move this boulder if you wake Yeah, yeah. I say we give it a mm, we camping for the night. Make camp. Yeah, definitely.
Uh, now we have some stuff we can cook. And like you can see where it shows effects, strength plus one, defense plus one. Um, it's four. This should do even more. Yeah, this also increases your stamina recovery. Got a story to share? That's that's good stuff right there. Yeah. I'll hear any. I love the cooking at the campfire here. It's like that's got to be live footage or real footage. That's not that's not CG, man. No, it's like a feast to get you ready for bed. Indeed. Surely we've time for a short kip. All right. Yeah, we can and this will make it first light and completely refill our health. I'm so glad that some of the initial hate for this game is dying down a little bit. Uh, people were really surprised with uh, this game uh, having a lot of microtransactions. Because it was like the initial review copies that came out of it did not have uh, microtransactions in them. <gasps> oh, fuck. I just messed up. Hopefully we'll reload at the... Uh, we'll reload at that uh, place I just rested at. You can actually shoot bridges out. Yeah, I've actually ruined my chances of getting across this. I don't know any way to get across this now. Oh my god, I don't know how to get across here now. Because you, you can't survive in the water. It's simply not possible. Uh, the You may have seen the tentacles coming up out of the water that devoured me. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. Holy shit, I actually don't know how to cross this point. I mean, I'm sure there is another way around. Like, we could probably go down there and across right there. Shit. But yeah, it is a thing you can do. You can destroy those bridges intentionally to, uh, you know, to prevent enemies from following you and also to deal damage to large enemies. Ace Gaming, hello, welcome. Use what as a mount? I see your comment there, use as a mount. Uh, use what? Shit, it looks like we're going to have to go down this way if we can. Yeah, here we go. But yeah, that's one thing I'm really enjoying about this game so far is the way that, I mean, just exploration in general. Uh, so the bridge is out. All right. Well, there's probably another way down there. Have you forgotten Ooh. something, Arisen? I don't think we've been in here yet. See, oh, I was just trying to cross a bridge and here I find myself exploring a whole other cave now. Saurians. I'm gonna be sorry and you messed with me. Nice. Nicely done. Got some loot over here for me? Yeah, you do. Oh, I just saw there was something right there I could have picked up. Ah, and I've just maxed out my vocation. Nice. Dude, do not walk me off of that fucking cliff while you're trying to high-five your bro. Please just pick up... Please just pick up the item. Thank you. What is this? It is a magnificent view. The landscape seems to unfold in all directions, revealing its secrets to the patient observer. So you're telling me I should look around? Okay, cool, gotcha. <laughs> cool, okay. I'm just, I'm having so much fun exploring this game, man. I just want to get out and cave dive and explore. Not good enough. And shoot some bats in the face.
that is oddly satisfying. Oh, Ace Gaming, I got you. Yeah, uh, this game could use some sort of mount. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it it kind of has mounts. Uh, you can like you can grab a griffin and fly on a griffin. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how that works. I haven't done it yet, except in a cutscene. Uh, you can uh, you can grab onto a harpy and have a harpy fly you around. So not exactly the same thing, but still kind of cool. I see. So how do we? I was looking for a way down here. I bet we can make that. Let's test something. Hey, buddy. Shoot the bats. Grab your buddy. Uh, hey, bud. Can you, uh, what do you like, come here for a second? By this, uh, well, I'm going to see if I can chuck you down there. And hey, look, he survived. Cool. Now maybe he'll catch me. Uh, hey, bro, can you catch me? Uh, catch me, you fucker. <laughs> yeah, it just fell on my face. I guess I kind of deserved that for just chucking him down there like an asshole. <laughs> Supposedly they can catch you. Oh, wait, where are my two helpers at? <gasps> oh, man, tell me I didn't lose those. Oh, man, I hope I didn't lose those pawns somehow. Oh, I really hope I didn't lose those pawns somehow. Those were really good pawns. I hope I didn't lose my pawns, man. Oh, dude, I hope I didn't lose my pawns. I see you cannot manage without me for a moment, Arisen. Oh, yeah, it's kind of your job, homie. I bet they fell off of a cliff or got devoured in the friggin' brine or something. They probably fell into the brine. Uh, those tentacles in the water. I bet when the bridge collapsed, my helpers fell in. Son of a bitch. That's a problem. Uh, that means I'm now going to have to sp spend some time looking for uh, helpers to replace them. And I had really very carefully selected those two. What in the world are you supposed to be? What are you good at, though? I just don't need you. Nope. I just don't need you. What I need is a... Two spellcasters. I don't need another fighter. Shit. That's kind of a problem. Uh, now I don't have any wizards. I don't have any spellcasters with me. That means I pretty much have to avoid combat until I get another... Uh, yeah, until I get some more helpers, I will basically just have to avoid combat. Shit. That is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Do you hear me? This creature is hard as stone, making it ideal for tossing it our other foes. Hell, I guess I should have. You know what? I think I am actually going to take Are this person. So Hi. Happy to have me along? Uh, yes, you can actually join me for a moment, it's just so I've got a little more backup. Yeah, just so I've got a little more backup, I'll have this person with me. Hereabouts. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. I need to replace my spellcasters, though. That is a need. All right, let's have a look at the map. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're right where I wanted to be. I actually wanted to be on this main path, but I kind of broke the bridge and fell in the water. It looks like we can still get there from here. Yeah, welcome in, Ace. Glad to see you here. Uh, did you did you find this channel because of this game, or were you already uh, a fan of this channel? No, nah, come on, folks. Let's go this way. We're we're just not going that way. I need y'all to follow me. I'm not following you. I want to stick to the path for a minute, and uh, basically just get to a rift stone and summon some more helpers. That's like all I need to do right now. Oh, hey, we're almost back on the main path. Completely by accident. Awesome. Is 
There's a chest up there. Man, I'm gonna have to come back and explore this area more. If only to work so far away. There's another campfire. Is that a campfire? Nope, it's more goblins. Never mind. Oh, there's a chest right here. Oh, that's the one I saw up there. Okay, yeah, I don't know how to get to it yet. And I do not want to spend much time exploring right now. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early oh, yeah, this game brought you in? Nice! I'm really glad to see this game bringing in some new viewers. Uh, I am so excited for this game. Dude, I will play this, like, for months. Uh, with nobody watching, I don't care. I just want to play this game. I hear a big enemy. There's goblins over there. Let me make a save game real quick. Darian Star, welcome! Welcome in! Good to see you. Now, it would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Oh god, what is this? I don't even I can't even oh it's a Man, I don't want to fight this thing without my wizards with me. I mean, we can probably take it, but... I sure do like having my little wizards with me. Actually, no, nah, uh, Tank, come on back this way, Bubba. Uh, I'm just going to let him run off with her. Because I need to get to a Rift Stone more than I need that pawn with me. Careful now. One wrong step and things will turn sour quicker than you can blink. I thought that was another enemy approaching us. I was like, oh my god, really? I may end up having to just fast travel back to town. <clears throat> I do have a couple of, uh, what are they called? Uh, the fast travel stones. Fairy stones, that's what they're called. Ooh, man, this shit is hard without spellcasters. Even, like, wolves and goblins and stuff can be challenging when you don't have, uh, mage helpers with you oh but we're actually pretty close to town yeah wait, let's just go on and push forward to town we're on the main road this is the main road here i believe yeah it would be cool if there were actual co-op in this i like the pawn system but it would be cool if there were actual co-op like if you could if you could bring in one of your friends as a follower. Oh, you're playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> but after playing Fallout 4, yeah, that's that's different. This game is incredible. I'm just going to tell you right now. This game is incredible. Love that move. 
Somebody comes charging up at you, you can jump over them and just kick them in the back of the head. <laughs> I love doing that. If you time it right. It is no more or less than what one might have expected. But we'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Oh, you poor thing. Damn, that was a quick kill. And we... Ah, we picked up a Saurian tail. The lizard tails are really useful for uh, making curatives and stuff. Uh, they allow you to make really, really powerful curatives. Uh, we'll just stay on the main road here for now. I really just want to get back to town, honestly. Get back to a Riftstone. Uh, summon some more helpers. We're pretty close now, actually. Yeah, Lego Star Wars. Shit, Lego Indiana Jones is great, too, man. Uh, the game for the Lego movie was good. I had a lot of fun with that one. Uh, my kiddo and I played that one. Shit, that was a lot of fun. We need to do some more of that. It was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important personage, perchance? Aye. Tell is, her ties to this figure from the neighboring country have a romantic tint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I tend to not play games that have, like, a lighter tone, generally. I like pretty serious what... What most would consider grown-up games, I do prefer stuff like that. I don't play stuff like uh, any, stuff that I consider like kid here. games, or now? just a very lighter, very light tone. Ah, he returned. I delivered the letter. The cart reached its destination safe and sound. Ox cart, a convenient choice for longer journeys. I see no harm in making use of them as needed, Master. Man, I really hate that I lost those two followers I had. They were awesome with just the right skills that I wanted. It's actually going to take me a while to replace them. It may take me a while to replace them because now I'm going to have to search carefully to find two helpers with the same... Uh, to find two helpers with the similar set of skills that I need. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. Or it's just relaxing. Like, if you're stressed, you can just go fishing with Goofy. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I dig it. See, for me... I don't really know what this says about me as a person. But, like, if I'm playing a game where I'm doing well and, like, kicking ass, for me, that's stress relief. And this Baron fellow, he's a real warrior. Seemed to be. You wouldn't recommend him if he wasn't. And after all, I've seen. And it has a good story. Well, there Thank you go. You, thanks, sir. Methinks I'll seek out this Baron and see what. He... Yeah, perhaps you should. Now, fuck off. I'm busy, kid. You found Baron, a motivated soldier to train, Weapons a single, really them. young, really weak-looking we soldier to train. I knew it to be so. All right. Now, apologies. This bit may get a bit boring unless you're, like, invested in this game. What I'm basically basically going to have to do is go in here and scroll through a bunch of fucking spellcasters until I find two that are good enough to replace the ones I had. Uh, yeah, but also if I'm stressed, I can just go kill a bunch of freakers. Woo! Right? All right, so I do like this feature. Hang on, let me interact with the stone here. And what you can do is search the pawns that are currently in the rift and search by what their skills are. So this, uh, see the blue shield with kind of looks like a wizard staff on it? That tells me this is a spellcaster. So I can pretty easily scroll through the various spellcasters looking for stuff that I have or for somebody I may want. But it really does take a lot of comparison 
because you really have to carefully pick the skills. Like I know which skills work for me, like this person right here, this Ellie or Eli, whatever. They have a high level fire spell, high level, high level lightning, high level cold, and they can give my weapons lightning damage. That's it. They do nothing but deal damage and apply a damage dealing buff. They don't have any healing. They don't have any restoratives. They don't have any uh, defense magic, nothing. Now, this one's pretty good here. Uh, they have fire. They have lightning. They have holy damage, which is unique. Uh, and they can cast a shield spell, but that's their only buff is a shield spell. So there's literally no, no magic users within the rift right now that I want to use. So I'll exit, go back in. It will refresh them, and I'll have a whole new list of helpers to pick from. Oh, James, you got to go, man. All right, brother. Well, hey, thank you for being here, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know the, the, the views aren't great for this stream, but fuck, I'm having so much fun playing this game, dude. Oh, now, what is that? Uh, you're currently playing Hogwarts Legacy. Okay. I have not played that one yet. I had heard it was really good, though. All right, so I know what I'm looking for. Again, I want a spellcaster. Ooh, what is Celestial Pan? I don't even know what that means, man. Hang on, I got to do a little Google search in here. How's that spelled? A-E-A-N? Yeah, like, this is one thing. Like, the names of the spells... They don't tell you what it actually is. A summoning a wave of holy light to hasten your recovery and speed. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So she has, uh, or this person has, uh, they can put fire damage on my weapons. That's the fire affinity. High Leaven is a badass lightning spell. And then they have an excellent shield spell and... I still don't know exactly what Celestial Pan does. Does it actually heal you? Summons a wave of holy light to hasten your recovery and speed. So it's, I think it's basically like a high level uh, celerity. Um, hmm. Okay. So that's actually pretty good. I, I may actually hire that person. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> this character's name is Shart. <laughs> like they put an E on it to make it kind of fancy. Sharte. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's just, I, I don't even know what to say about that. Oh, okay. Oh, their skills don't really complement each other though they basically do the exact same stuff this is a good one this character's um their level isn't really high enough i prefer to hire pawns that have a level higher than my own um simply so they're dealing more damage and casting better spells uh but the spells that this one has will complement the other one. This, uh, If I go with this angel, they can put fire on my weapons and they can cast lightning. They cast a shield spell and they cast, a, I, I'm guessing it's a high level celerity, uh, which makes you move faster and recover stamina faster. And then this person can put ice on my weapons, cast a high level fire and healing and remove damaging statuses. That Those are the two right there. So I'm going to mark this one and I'm going to mark this one. And actually, I can hire this person for free. So I'm definitely going to take them for now. And is there anyone else? Yennefer. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, somebody named their spellcaster Yennefer. This is a nice high level dat boy. But he has a fire spell, a lightning spell, can put fire on my weapons, and can cast a shield spell. Ah, this is high celerity. So the other one is not another version of celerity. Interesting. I 
I only have one minor complaint about this is that the names of the spells really don't give you much idea of what the spell does. Now, there is a way to look and see what the spells do, but it's not something you can just look at at any time. You have to be looking in the right spot to find it. So, this one. I was enjoying that celerity. But they don't complement each other very well. Let me go ahead and find the two that I have marked. Because I really, really, really need to have some good spellcasters with me. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and difficulty. So I do want to hire you. Tactics now. And the other one should, again, have a mark by their name. Should have a check mark by their name. There it is. Angel. It will be a joy to serve one so gallant. You know, hire her. Party's full. Yep, no worries. Let's get rid of this fighter right here. I do not need an extra fighter. That was just somebody to help me get home. Uh, sure, they did well. You can have some raspberries. Have fun I with that. Hope your memories of our journey are as Paraguay! Hello! No, I, I don't think I've unlocked that class yet. Uh, the spear guy. Uh, you have to find the different classes in order to unlock them, and I don't think I have that one yet. And I, I pretty much plan to stick with uh, Archer. Uh, I may I experiment with playing a spellcaster myself later, uh, simply because the spellcasters have the levitate ability. And I really want to play around with levitate. All right, so now I want to, I'm just going to test a couple more times, see if I can do any better than what I've got. I'm not going to spend much time on this. View unique palms. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I see. No, these are all very low level. These would not do me any good at all. Okay, so we're going to leave the rift. And then we'll go back in and it will refresh the pawns that are in there. And now I can just do kind of a quick scan through and see if there's anything I really want. And honestly, I kind of prefer um, healing abilities. Why does this person have high palladium twice? Does that mean they can cast, cast it more often? Ah, uh, this is a good one. We have Argent Tonic, which is healing magic, and Celerity, which is your speed. Excellent lightning, excellent fire, healing, and speed. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and hire this one. Add a marker. And let's just have a quick look at what else we have here. Nope, that's the only other one that's in here. Okay, so let's go find this person. Uh, hi, Christine. And uh, let's have a look at... See if I can compare my other two spellcasters. Where are my other two spellcasters? Didn't it bring them in here with me? Ooh. Some of these are actually pretty badass. Yeah, here's... It won't show me her abilities because they're already in my party. I kind of need to know what their abilities are, man. Oh, let's see. There's got to be a way to go. Look at that. No, you can't do this while you're in the rift. Of course, of course. Well, damn. I don't actually know if they're going to be any better than what I have. <laughs> you can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Ooh, no Lies of Key is a good one. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know about the Jedi Survivor games. Um, Claire had fun with the first one, uh, but she didn't really enjoy the second one. And uh, I don't think I would have fun with either one of them. Honestly, uh, the whole 
all of the loot is just fucking garbage cosmetics? What? Anyway, uh, that's just me, though. A personal pet peeve of mine. Uh, Lies of P is awesome. You're going to fucking love it if you decide to get it. And uh, No Man's Sky, I hear... You know, I played No Man's Sky a long time ago, not long after it first came out. And I really enjoyed it, and I hear that it is even better now. Like, they've they've done nothing but continue to support it, continue to add upgrades, new features, things like that. Uh, so from what I understand, uh, the current version of No Man's Sky is pretty much the version we were promised back in the day when it first came out. See, it won't show me what their skills are. Ah, here we go. Okay. Nice. I figured it out. Okay, so this person can give me ice on my weapons and cast a killer fire spell. She can heal me and she can uh, remove negative statuses. So now this one can heal me and shield me Add ice and fire. Did I? Is that this? That's the same one, isn't it? Brain. Why are you? That's how we do it. Gotcha. Okay. High palladium. Fire, lightning, and high palladium. Now let's have a look at this person's abilities. Solar. That's the one. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with her. I am actually going to hire her. And I wanted to swap her out with this one, I think. Right? Yeah, that's what we're going to swap it out with Angel. Remove Angel. Dismiss Angel. Yes. And then hire the other one. Uh, I don't know. You were probably cool and all. You can have like a rotten apple or something. I don't know. The time of our parting is come. Thank you for everything. Shall we discuss it? tactics now or later? All right, let's get out of here, man. Go do some exploring. Now that I've got some decent spellcasters with me. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Mega Man. I mean, you might as well catch it while it's on sale for sure, man. I mean, if you have any curiosity about the game, you, you plan to play it at all, what definitely catch it while it's on sale. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. But I feel like, for me personally, I don't think I would enjoy those games at all. It's like, I don't know, I, I was watching Claire play, and of course the combat looks incredible. I would love to run around slashing stuff with a lightsaber, man. That's, that's great. But the whole loot system... Of, like, why would you even bother exploring and trying to find chests if you know the only loot you're getting is garbage fucking cosmetics, man? It, it, it honestly offends me that game developers thought that was okay. Like, they thought that was an okay thing to put in the game. It's like, oh yeah, all the loot is just garbage cosmetics. Have fun. What? What? I don't know. I guess that goes back to being like an old school Diablo player, like Diablo, Diablo 2, and even Borderlands. You know, the Borderlands games are basically looter shooters, uh, loot gasm type games. So, I mean, oh, damn. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, that person must have really enjoyed traveling with my pawn because he gave me an excellent gift. Yeah. Thanks. Yep, don't care. Nice. It is a relief to be home. Let us just say that not all Arisen are quite like you, Master. <laughs> now we've the Vim to tackle the day ahead. Yeah. Off we go then. Nice. A new perspective. Let's see, No Man's Sky and Liza P. I've uh, been waiting on those two. Oh, okay. Uh, Elden Ring, Helldivers 2, The Expanse. Like, like the show, The Expanse? There's a game based in that universe? 
Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, I love the expanse. Hang on. That's like a telltale game in the expanse universe. <gasps> You've got to be fucking kidding me. I had no idea. Oh my God. Well, I'm probably fixing to buy that motherfucker. Dude. Like the telltale games are excellent anyway. And the expanse is just fantastic storytelling. Uh, I'm tell if you haven't seen uh, the television show, uh, I think it's I think it's currently in Amazon. It's like a prime movies prime viewing show. Uh, that's fucking good TV, man. That's good television. Uh, and like y'all may know, I really don't give a shit about television. I play video games for entertainment. I don't care about. TV shows, movies, really not a fan of stuff like that. I mean, sure, there are movies and TV shows that I enjoy, but they have to be, like, really spectacular. Like, really well-written, good fucking television. Or, or I really just don't care. I'd rather be playing a video game. Like, I sit there watching a show, and I'm like, what do I do with my hands? What, what am I supposed to be doing with my brain? while I'm sitting here watching these flickering images on this screen that do nothing and do nothing for me. Give me a controller in my hand. You know, it's, it's, it, it, I'm weird like that, but I really don't care to just sit there and stare at a television with flickering images on it. I'd rather actually be playing a game and, and interactive entertainment uh, rather than passive entertainment. Oh, you love the show? Watched it twice. Uh, you know, didn't like it at first. I'm sorry, the emoji thing is right over your comment there. I can't see it for the stupid emoji. I really wish they would move that stupid emoji thing. Uh, Darian Star kind of wanted Elden Ring. Uh, yeah, I, I actually want to play that one. Uh, having played Lies of P and enjoyed it so much, I'm like, well, damn, maybe I should check out some uh, some other Souls-like games. Mm, yeah, I'm going to have to check that out, Mega Man. Dude, you just cost me some money, dog. <laughs> All right. Uh, do what? I thought you were going to Google it to double check with how you were moving. <laughs> I did Google it. Yeah, I just looked it up on the other on the uh, other screen there. I didn't look at any details, just like, yeah, it's actually a thing, and it's available right now. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to buy it. All right. Now, I was trying to explore. I really wanted to get out here and explore this more western half of the map, but I accidentally killed my pawns on this bridge up here. <laughs> Some kind of SOL. I don't know what I want to do now. It's almost time to shut it down, I guess. I just, I'm not ready to shut it down. I wanted to get out and explore. See one little road here that I haven't explored. See, I'm really curious. I'm like, this whole big gap right here in the middle, is there truly nothing there? Just a gap in the middle of the map? Really? I don't see any roads that lead through it or any paths that lead through it. And for the most part, you can see the paths that are off of the map. Interesting. So I need to go over this. Yeah, actually. Oh, that's right. There's a whole other area over here. I forgot about that. And just keep going west. Yeah, honestly, I would say um, if you are interested in, like, entering the Souls-like franchise, start with Lies of Pete. If you've, if you've never played any other, uh, sorry, I'm moving this curtain over here to get some more airflow. Uh, if you've never played any Souls games, my personal opinion is that Lies of P is an excellent, excellent entry into uh, that type of game. Uh, I really had a lot of fun with Lies of P, and I'll be honest with you guys, I was dreading a Souls-like game. Like, I was not at all excited. We bought Lies of P to stream on the channel before I really even knew what it was. I had seen some gameplay of it and was like, oh, that looks cool. It's beautiful. It looks fun. Let's let's try it. 
I watched one tips and tricks video. The first line of the video is something like, this is an excellent entry into the Souls Light games. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Man, I wish I'd heard that first. But, but, I committed, I made a commitment to approach the game with an open mind and a sense of adventure. Man, I really had a blast with it. Like, honestly, if I, if Dragon's Dogma hadn't come out, I'd probably still be playing Lies of P because that one was really good. I think I want to go west. That's something I haven't done yet. Looks like we've done most of what's available over here. There's only a couple of roads over here that I haven't explored yet. We can go do those later. I think I actually want to head out to the west. And from here, that's going to be this way. <laughs> Once you go souls. <laughs> oh, that, that reminds me of another saying. How does that one go? <laughs> oh, shit. Actually, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We're about to take off with a full fucking inventory. I'm not doing that. Where was my house at? I literally just got lost on the way to my own house. How does that happen? Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Get out of the doorway. Here we go. Yeah, I almost forgot, man. I got to get in here and do some inventory management. Okay, so Darian, you've never played uh, one of the Souls-like games. I I actually do recommend Lies of P as a starting point. Uh, I mean, hell, you've even got my live stream series. Uh, if you've seen any of that, or if you want to go back and check a few of those, uh, there will be plenty of spots where I show like what my build is. Uh, so you'll be able to get a pretty good idea of how it's played. Oh, dude, check it out. Squirrel Jr. has joined us. Squirrel, what's up, man? Long time no see. How are you doing? Uh, this town gave you motion sickness. Interesting. Uh, I have heard... Oh, Nylon Girl is back. Hey, uh, I have heard that there is an update coming that will allow you to adjust things like motion blur for sure. You'll be able to turn off motion blur, which can help with motion sickness. I'm hope I know in PC they're supposed to be adding a way to dial back the field of view so you can like expand your field of view. I hope that update comes to console as well because being able to pull back the camera a bit helps a lot with motion sickness. So yeah, hopefully that'll help you out. All right. One thing I do like about this, the way the inventory management works, uh, it will kind of default to give to the main player, give to the main player, give to the main player, pretty much every time. That's like the top option is give it to yourself. And again, this one thing I wish they would change, I wish there were a way to select multiple squares. Like right now I can select four apples. I can select all four apples to give as a stack, but I cannot select multiple stacks. And that's one update I would love to see because that would actually make inventory management a lot easier. I mean, you get fairly fast at it with just muscle memory alone. But still, it would be better to select multiple. And none of these people have anything that I have given them. So, all right. Where's my chest? There we go. Plumbing woes. Oh, maybe a faulty fill valve? That's possible. I wish I knew more about that. I wish I could help you more with that. 
<laughs> Actually, Claire is the one you want to talk to for fixing stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. You're playing uh, Hogwarts. You're ready to do a Harry Potter rewatch. Nice. Okay. You've been waiting for this game since 01. Shit. Yeah. Been thinking about rereading those. I should get audiobooks of those. Uh, I am able to listen to audiobooks. Excuse me. I'm able to listen to audiobooks pretty consistently at work. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. If I mix one of these restorative items with a lizard tail, it makes an exquisite restorative. Oh, the audiobooks are good? Cool. I'm currently listening to uh, The Wheel of Time uh, on audiobook for like the seventh fucking time. I've read, like, I've been reading those books over and over since the 90s when the first one came out. Uh, the Eye of the World. Um, and then, uh, I've listened to the audiobooks. I think I've listened to the full series on audiobook once over the last few years. And when I started this new job where I actually have a lot of time to listen to audiobooks, I started, uh, another, uh, listen of it. Ooh, we made two of those. I wish those damn lizard tails weren't so rare though. Uh, cause like I kill a bunch of lizards and they rarely ever drop their tails. Oh, yeah, the Roberents, ro they're nice, man. Uh, they do a, if you make a higher quality version of it, they give you a lot of health and a lot of stamina, uh, but they're, uh, they don't weigh much. Like you said, it's like 0. 0.5, yeah. <laughs> yes, stick man, right? Seeing uh, kids carrying around 600-page books, fuck yeah. I mean, it's all about getting kids to read, right? That's my own stepkids from my first marriage. Uh, I got them interested in reading uh, with Harry Potter. Uh, my stepson, he doesn't even really like to read. He's not like a like a books type guy. Uh, he's more of a physical person. He likes to get out and, you know, go do stuff physically. Uh, but he got into books with the Harry Potter series. I was so proud of him, man. Here we go. The ones I really like are the ones that restore stamina. I tend to need more of those than I do uh, health. <laughs> Everything from uh, middle grade to splatterpunk. All right. I became a nerd because of Harry Potter. Oh, my. So that's where it started for you? Damn. All right. Okay. What else do we want to make? I don't think there's much that we need to make. We could let's do some dried fruit. Those are those are handy. We'll do some more dried. Oh, I should have made two of those. The dried fruits you can do a lot of other stuff with those. Ooh, I can make explosive arrows. Fuck yeah, we're making explosive arrows. What are you talking about? It right, looks like that's everything I can craft that I know. Yeah, okay, because they're all grayed out. Oh, here we go. No, we got some at the top. I'm going to go ahead and make some lantern oil. I found out recently that you can use your rotten items to make lantern oil. It's a slimy muck that you use to make uh, oil. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, we can make a lot more stuff. Cool, cool. Mighty Rorberant. Uh, restores a great deal of health and stamina. Should have made two of those. Six of those, wow. Yeah, see, this is why I do this. I like to go in here and check and see what all we can make and uh, fill up my inventory with restoratives and stuff before we go back out to adventure. I can make a few of these. Shit, I usually just sell these. I don't even use them, actually. These arrows. I don't really intend to make any arrows. Oh, I don't use these particular arrows. I guess we could, but I don't really want to. Okay. And now we will deposit a bunch of the shit we just made. And the stuff that we're not using presently. Keep one of these on me because those are handy for cooking.
worry about getting back to a merchant to sell some of this junk later. Okay, so it looks like we're pretty well done up right now. Ooh. All right, let me catch up with the chat. But folding laundry is your least favorite chore. You know, I, I really don't mind folding laundry. It doesn't really bother me all that much. Now, sheets, bottom sheets, the fitted sheet, I don't... Does anyone actually know how to fold those motherfuckers? Or you just throw them in the cabinet like I do. I, like regular sheets with corners? Yeah, I can fold that, man. It's a fucking rectangle. Easy enough. What do you do with the fitted sheets, man? Like, how's... Like, what do you do with that? I mean, <laughs> you're going to have to, like, make a YouTube video and show me how or something. That's that's the thing. I need a tutorial video showing me how to fold fitted sheets. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Squirrel Jr., weight management is tough. I started throwing palms off of bridge. I'm not sure how that's connected to weight management, but I, I approve. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Darian, there you go. Just shovel them in a pillowcase. Yes. <laughs> Just ball it up and toss it, man. Yeah. <laughs> New ideas for content? Yeah. Actually, I I may actually start doing unboxing and review videos. Uh, there, YouTube has launched a new thing where um, it, it's kind of like the sponsor thing where like people will sponsor your videos and stuff if you'll do like a review of their product. But basically what a lot of these companies are doing, they just want to send me one free item and be like, hey, we'll give you this free item if you'll make a video about it. Uh, like I don't really think that's right for this channel, but I may launch a second channel and basically just get a bunch of free shit. Cause like I have, like multiple companies have been approaching the channel about, hey, we want to give you this thing so you can make a review video of it. And the only problem there is, uh, well, it takes time to make videos, man. I mean, if, if you send me one $30 product and then it takes me five hours to make a video on it, well, I mean, that's six bucks an hour, I suppose, but then you're still getting views and ad revenue and stuff. It's like I, I haven't decided yet if it's a good time investment for the channel uh some of my some of my core viewers are here right now would would you guys give a shit about stuff like that i mean i know like for me personally it would probably be good for the channel because then i'm getting a bunch of free stuff uh and um i was gonna say something else that i completely forgot about that it would be good for the channel in one way in another way but i don't want to distract my my regular viewers and have people start unsubscribing because they're like, well, I didn't join this channel to watch fucking unboxing videos. Uh, so I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Oh, squirrel. I see what you're saying. Uh, you load them with your heavy stuff and send them over the bridge. Ah, <laughs> uh, all the stuff is on them when they die and it goes to your storage. Holy shit. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Damn, I hadn't thought of that. I had considered, um, well, I, I forgot now, but yeah, uh, that's crazy. I may have to try that. So you load them up with your heavy stuff, essentially kill them, uh, throw them into the brine or something. Goes to your storage. Everything they're carrying goes to your storage. So that well, now the only problem there, and let me, can you help me out with this squirrel? Um, I had some followers, I had a couple of pawns die earlier uh, by accident. I accidentally destroyed a bridge. They fell off the bridge. They fell to the brine. Could I have recovered those helpers? Uh, I mean, I guess you can set them as a favorite and maybe be able to find them again later. I didn't have them set as favorites. Uh, I just... I straight up lost them. That's why we're back in town right now because I had to go back to, to the Riftstone and get new helpers. Oh, good night, Melissa. Thank you for being here. Okay. Let's... At what time is it? We've been standing here talking for like an hour. Uh, okay, so it's early morning. I think we're actually in a pretty good place to shut it down. Uh, I don't want to. 
Uh, I would literally just play this all fucking night, but we should shut it down. It's a little quarter past nine here. Folks are cutting out to go to bed. Uh, so yeah, yes, you can get them back. Previous follower category. Okay. I will remember that. Thank you. That's actually helpful. Uh, because that, that really would have helped me earlier when I accidentally killed those two followers. They were perfect. They had just the right set of spells to complement each other, like healing spells, buffing spells, and then damage dealing spells. They were, they were great. I was really having a good time traveling with them and accidentally killed them. Had to go replace them. Anyway. Oh, all right, man. So what is going on? Oh, you guys will want to know this if you don't already. Um, Claire, host Claire Weaver, host of the Days Gone podcast, has started a new playthrough of Days Gone. Uh, she started just this morning, so she's only one episode in. And uh, tomorrow at 8 a.m. Uh, Mountain Time on the 8-Bit Terror channel, uh, pop in over there. You can see the host of the Days Gone podcast playing some fucking Days Gone. Uh, and just this morning, in like the first hour of gameplay, she did something I'd never thought of. You know, there's the uh, the mission early game, uh, Crazy Willies, you ripper... Uh, the rippers are burning Boozer's arm and you have to kill those rippers and get them off of him. She came up with a way to kill those rippers there that I'd never thought of. Something I've never seen anyone else do. Uh, so, I mean, that's that's one of the great things about watching Claire play Days Gone is she's always trying different, unique shit that nobody else has ever thought of. Uh, so, give it a watch tomorrow. She'll be on there again. I, I don't want to talk it up, hype it up too much, but y'all know how she does, man. Uh, she's always looking for new shit, new ways to do stuff. Uh, so that's 8 a.m. Mountain Time on the 8-Bit Terror channel tomorrow morning. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday she'll be playing Days Gone. Not sure yet what she's doing on Friday. And then I'll be back here uh, Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I'll be back on with some more Dragon's Dogma. And guys, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm having a little more fun with this game than I probably should be. I really hope y'all will join me uh, and enjoy it with me. Uh, cause I'm having a blast and I'm really excited to share this with y'all. Uh, that's it for me. That's all I got. Uh, no, yeah, nylon girl. We took down that fucking Griffin with them. They were such badasses. I completely lost them. I accidentally destroyed a bridge. Bridge fell out from an under them. They fell in the water. And in this game, you can't survive in the water. Uh, so I just found out I could have gotten them back, but I fucked it up. Oh, well. Anyway, thanks guys. So glad y'all were here tonight. We'll see y'all next time. Thank you.